Has anybody ever realized how unrealistic COD Zombies knifing is? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Out of all the things in this game that you could be nitpicking, it's knifing? When they're sliding across bricks and not getting injured at all, or that there's a Nazi doctor controlling endless waves of zombies. Hear me out. So I used to think that every time you knife, you would sheath or sling your gun, pull out your knife with your right hand, knife, put the knife away, and then draw your gun again. But this isn't actually what happens. You actually keep on holding your gun in your right hand, pull out a knife with your left hand, and then knife. Which, it's not as unrealistic as the other way that I thought it worked, but it's still unrealistic. I mean, when you knife with the Wonder Waff in your hands, that thing is like 40 pounds. Or the bear, or the PTRS. Even though it's technically possible, there is no way that you can do it like you do it in the game. So today, I'm gonna be demonstrating how unrealistic this is this is my 45 cal thompson center hawking rifle i think this weighs around 13 pounds a pretty heavy hunk of metal so as a knife i got my buoy knife obviously you gotta have it because it's cod zombie this thing is a little rusted right now i haven't oiled it in a while it weighs around two pounds all right now let's see how hard it would be to go from shooting straight to knifing with your left hand like it's done in cod zombie by the way already cleared the gun right before the video nothing's in it <laughs> it's so heavy you can't be holding it from here let me get it from the side This gun is pretty light for a gun too. And you think of all the guns in COD Zombies that there are like the snipers, those things are 20 plus pounds. And then the LMGs, those are even heavier. This thing is a puny little gun compared to those. How do you think they're knifing? All right, all right, maybe let's try this. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's try to find out the fastest way to do it though. So if we're trying to find out the fastest way to knife, we're going to need multiple knives. Right here, I have three of my custom made knives and we're going to do this. So I call this the drop method. Let's just say you're shooting at a crowd and then you run out of ammo and you have to resort to knifing, but you have many knives on you. Oh no. <gasps> Oh, max ammo. So obviously you don't really want to do this method. It's a good way to ruin your knives, but COD zombies, you got to make sense of it somehow because they're knifing so fast. It's literally impossible to knife as fast as they're knifing. So another good way to do it is having a small knife in your belt like this instead of on the side like it is in the game. Yeah, maybe you have to pull it out like this and it's awkward. But you're like, shing, 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 shing. So I really think that when you're shooting, put the gun on your back, have the knife in your pouch like this. But the thing is, it's pretty unreliable. See, like, it's stuck, it's stuck in my belt right now. So here's how you do it. Oh, I got a knife again. Oh, I got a knife. Yeah, I just realized how stupid this video is and nobody cares. It's a freaking game. Everybody knows it's unrealistic. Why am I doing this?